There's no denying that Google's Nexus lineup has set the bar over the last couple of years when it comes to Android and one of the most expected phones of the year is the Nexus 5 that we still don't see, except for leaks. So I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and these are our top five predictions of what to expect for the Nexus lineup hopefully this week if there is an event or not. Number five is a Nexus 4 with LTE, and no, you're not in the wrong video. Sadly, this is one of the biggest reports out there. Apparently, the device will remain with us for another year with a couple of enhancements, like an LTE radio being enabled this time, where in the past you had to hack it. Though we still don't know what to expect of this phone, mainly because if this phone is still out there, and this phone will be the budget Nexus device, then can we get a guarantee that the Nexus 5 will retain that amazing price tag with the amazing specifications that we're all dreaming about? So, yeah. The Nexus 4 might remain for another year, but hey, if you don't hear this announced, we'll be happy to be wrong with this one. Number 4 is a new Nexus 10, but take this one with a grain of salt, as this is probably one of the worst leaked tablets ever. All we have is one render of an ASUS-made tablet that passed through so many hands through Photoshop that we really can't tell what it was originally. So we're not really sure if this is ever going to happen. Probably the Nexus 10 could stay around with another year because it still works fine. It's got great resolution. Pretty much not every other tablet out there has it, so um, we do see this current Nexus 10 to be kind of future-proof to stay for another year. So again, hopefully we will be getting a portrait type ASUS made Nexus 10, though we're not sure if it'll happen this year at least. Number three is Android 4.4 KitKat, and yes, this is a minor point upgrade. We're not really expecting many features or enhancements, but these are kind of significant, especially in the Google Wallet sector and aside from Miracast support. But probably one of the biggest deals is that apparently the Android launcher will now be available to everybody, meaning you don't have to buy a Nexus device to get the Google Nexus experience. You don't have to buy a Nexus device to get stock Android, though you'll probably have to do so to get Android updates in the future, but still, makes you wonder what will happen to these Google Edition phones, but if you could get Android 4.4's launcher to be working on your Galaxy Note 3 and still get S Pen features to work because this is just a launcher, this is going to really be awesome, so stay tuned for that one. Number two is the Google Nexus 5, and this is probably one of the biggest, most expected phones of the year, and obviously the most leaked as well. And the reason why is because this phone is based on the LG G2. And those of us that have used this phone know exactly how powerful and efficient the phone is. I mean, pretty much everything about the G2 is awesome, from the optical image stabilization, to the Snapdragon 800 processor, to the amazing battery life, to the great display. And we're expecting most of these features to make it to the Nexus 5 for 350 bucks a piece. 16 gigs or 32 gigs is going to be the option hopefully and we are just expecting for this phone to come out so please google just release the phone silently i don't care just take our money and finally, the top number one prediction for what will happen to the Google Nexus lineup is one more thing. And yes, one more thing does fit into this Google Nexus lineup. And the reason why is because Siddhar Pichai has been kind of famous for surprising us. We were not expecting the Chromecast in their Nexus event in the past, and we got the Chromecast. And it's a 35 buck awesome feature that works beautifully with just about any device that you have out there. So we are expecting something, something new that will make these Google devices work or play better together as we currently see with Apple devices that we can really see on Android. We are hoping for Android 4.4 to bring some enhancements and hopefully there is some hardware out there that will take advantage of this. So that leads me to the question of the day. What are your predictions for this top five? What are your predictions for the Nexus lineup? What do you think will be that one more thing? In my particular case, I do expect enhancements to the Chromecast or probably a new Chromecast, something even bigger and better and hopefully focused on gaming. But leave us a comment down below. What are you expecting? That's it for our top five Nexus lineup prediction. Hopefully we will be getting something announced this week and you can bet we will have an editorial roundtable whenever that happens. So stay tuned for that and make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Again, I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you whenever this phone gets announced.